Hey, what is up guys? My name is Grief Drums, and today we are going to be taking a look at the latest patch, which is 4.2. This is supposed to be an interim patch, but holy shit, is it bringing a lot to the party. There are so many buffs and changes going on. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. This patch is released today. Unfortunately, at the time of me making this video, it's actually the day before, so I'm not 100% sure of the timings. They will be on Reddit somewhere, but no doubt it will be live by this evening. So the first big change we're gonna take a look at is gonna be Twitch. Now, as the patch notes state, Twitch is one of those operators who is pretty good. She's a fairly stable operator, but she's not incredible. She's one of those that sort of, you know, her only saving grace is her gun. I mean, her farmass is insane. So as a result, what they've decided to do is change up her shock drone. Now, instead of one shock drone, she's going to have two. One of those she can actually use during the preparation phase, which is a huge change. Now, this information we already knew from being leaked on Reddit, but we do have new information on this from the patch notes. It does state instead of having two normal drones, she's actually just going to have a second shock drone. Deploying this will not destroy the first one, so she can actually have two shock drones in play at any one time. She can switch between them as you would normally do with cameras for defenders. It's also going to be 30% faster so as to match normal drone speeds. And on top of that, it's going to create less sound when moving. The red light on the front has been removed and the range has been increased from 5 to 7 meters. This will bring it more on par to actually deal with Mute's jammers since they've been buffed. This is a huge change, and I'm really interested to see how the meta of the game changes. A lot of defenders are going to be reluctant to put down ADS systems, batteries, mute jammers, all sorts of weird and wonderful fucking gadgets are now at risk of being taken out at the beginning of a round. So I'm interested to see how that plays into the game. The next big change from the patch notes is Blackbeard. Now, for too long, people have been complaining about how he's overpowered. So as a result, he's changing. Instead of having one shield, he's getting two. But wait, hold your horses. Instead of that shield having 800 HP, each one is only going to have 150. So it's going to break a lot more easily. This shield's durability will be displayed on the user interface. So you will be able to see how much damage it's taken and how much health it's got left allowing you to sort of move away, reassess the situation, and change your shield as necessary. Blackbeard's Mark 17 CQB is also changing as well in the form that the recoil is going to be a lot higher and harder to control if you've got the shield on. The next change is Doc. Again, this is information that we already knew, but there is a little bit more to it. A lot of this was already leaked on Reddit, showing a video of Doc healing himself and taking him from about 54 health to about 94. Now his darts have the ability to heal teammates, even if they're not in the down but not out stage. He can give them a massive 40 HP per dart. So if you've already been lit up, he can heal you. This is a huge change, and it's going to massively, massively increase his worth on the defense. The biggest thing about this, though, is the fact that he can overheal people now. Instead of just having 100 health, he can put you up to 120 health. The only downside to this overhealing is that it's only temporary and will decrease one health point every two seconds until you're back to 100 health. However, if it's the dying minutes of the game and you know that you're just about to get pushed, that extra 20 health points could be a massive, massive help. This is going to make him so much more interesting to use, and I can't wait to actually give this guy a go. Okay, so although this is just an interim patch, the next big change is huge. Claymores. Claymores are being added into the game for attackers. This means you don't have to worry as much about the Roma sneaking up behind you as you're pushing down a certain corridor. It's a really clever way of covering your back. Certainly if you're sniping, droning, anything like that, the attackers now have a way to look after themselves from being flanked. As with Claymores in real life, it will explode in a front-facing directional pattern, so you're going to have to set it up the right way, as daft as that sounds. As far as the distribution of these Claymores goes, they're not giving it to everyone, they're not giving the ability to all of the attackers, certainly not the really aggressive attackers, but more of the support roles. Thatcher, Thermite, Glaz, and Twitch are all getting Claymores, all at the expense of other gadgets. Thermite also loses his stun grenades and breaching charges, but in turn gains a Claymore and smoke grenades, which is going to be really handy for him placing charges. Twitch and Thatcher both lose stun grenades in favour of Claymores, and Glaz loses breaching charges and gains a Claymore instead. So with a new gadget for the attackers comes a new gadget for the defenders. They are getting an impact grenade. The impact grenade, as its name suggests, explodes as soon as it hits something or after one second of throwing it. This is ideal for those close range firefights when things go south and you just need to sort of throw a grenade and get away. But it can also be used to open giant holes in the environment. By doing this, the number of nitro cells split amongst the defenders is going to be reduced. Cavera and Smoke are both losing their nitro cell, and Castle and Rook are losing barbed wire, but they're all gaining these impact grenades. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. We're also going to see some new attachments in the form of muzzle brakes and heavy barrels. 
The muzzle brake is going to diminish the first shot recoil. This is going to put an emphasis on those precision shots. Due to the damage fall off on certain weapons, the heavy barrel has now been introduced. This means that you will still retain that damage at the expense of extra recoil. Obviously it's going to vary per weapon, but there's going to be a roughly 10 to 20% damage increase at long ranges when using this. If you're playing as Glaz or anyone with a DMR, this is going to be insanely cool. We're also seeing several changes in the form of Valkyrie losing one of her Black Eye cameras. She's now only going to have three. IQ and Montagna are also going to be able to deploy their gadgets a lot faster. Before patch 4.2, it was 1.5 seconds to deploy and unequip. Now it's going to be 0.7 seconds, so that's roughly half the time. We're also going to see changes to Twitch's DMR. Buck's DMR, Fuse's light machine gun, they're all having damage tweaks, as well as Ash's G36C. Due to the fact that it's so similar to the R4C, and people don't really know which one to choose, they often pick the R4C just because the damage is higher. So what they've done is they have reduced the recoil on the G36C to make it a more viable choice. Rook and Dox P90 is also changing in the form of the recoil. Because the MP5 is a headshot machine, what the devs have done is change it so the gun will rise a lot slower. Although the maximum recoil is higher, this will be better for landing body shots. If you fire automatic for a long period of time, the recoil is going to get insane. However, if you burst fire, it's going to be a lot more effective. Mute's MP5K, due to being so lacklustre, has also seen a damage increase from 27 damage to 31 damage between 0 and 16 meters, as well as the maximum recoil being reduced by 10%. Finally, on the gun front, Frost's 9mm, because it was so crap in comparison to her shotgun and was never really picked, the damage has been increased. With several gameplay fixes, operator fixes, and level design fixes, as well as animation, death cam replay, miscellaneous, terrorist hunt, Ubisoft club, UI, there are hundreds of things going on in this update it is really really positive to see the devs putting in so much hard work hit registration and team killing are also being looked at which is a really positive thing to see because these have both been pretty prolific and pretty terrible but on the whole i am so so excited for this patch it looks incredible i can't wait to see how these new changes and new additions really do affect the game i'm going to leave a link to all of the patch notes down below so you can make sure to check those out because there's a lot of extra things that i just haven't got the time to mention here but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's brought to light some of the new changes and will help you notice the differences that are going on in the game. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to beat the shit out of that thumbs up button. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless.